got a child in your household or in your universe, you know The Very Hungry Caterpillar. That book by Eric Carle, along with several others, has become a stage performance at the South Carolina Children's Theater. And one of the actors in that show, Anna Bowman, is here to talk about it. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. This is a fun one. This, this performance is put on with 75 puppets. Yes. Tell us about them. 75 puppets. There's six actors, and we're all handling all kinds of different characters, all kinds of different puppets, because we're telling four classic Eric Carle stories. Very so it's good. not just The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And so beyond The Very Hungry Caterpillar, the show also includes Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You yes. See, another classic, and two others. Yes, we do Ten Little Rubber Ducks mm -hmm. and The Very Busy Spider. All right, what, what roles do you play? I'm sure that you've, you're wearing a lot of hats here. I wear a lot of hats. I am Brown Bear, which I Ooh. am delighted to be a part of. I'm also a flamingo. I'm an octopus. I play the captain of a, a cargo ship at one point. How it's fun. a lot of fun. Do you have a favorite, if you could admit to a favorite role? I think my favorite is the white dog. I really like puppies the white dog. It's a lot of fun. That's fun. And, and this is kind of special too because the length of show makes this really easy. And, and the whole point is that you should bring little kids, right? Exactly. Tell us about that. It is the perfect show for a first theatrical experience yeah. because the children are encouraged to be a part of it. They're encouraged to say, oh, I see a brown bear or I see a blue horse, whatever it could be. And it, they're allowed to be loud and like kids. Yeah. And they're allowed to wiggle in their seats and they're encouraged to be a part of it. It's only 45 minutes long. So it's perfect for their attention span. The stories change very quickly. There's constantly something visually magical and whimsical happening, so they're uh, entertained. I love that, because again, that 45 minute time window, they've, they're not gonna get too squirmy, and they're gonna right. love it. I mean, they, they're going to be shouting and involved, and, and uh, it's, it, it's an easy place for, for kids to have a good time. What, uh, who's acting in this? Is it local and traveling and kids? It is half our students mm -hmm. and a couple of adult local actors. And so I'm one of the adult local actors, but we also have young actors a part of the production, which is really fun. Okay. Yeah. Are you, are you staying true to each story as, as kind of written? The, yes. the kids will be reciting this then. Oh yes. And we are staying very true to each story. There is original music that now goes along with them. So it really brings the books to life. The puppets look like they just jumped out of the pages. It's yeah. beautiful. Oh, it's absolutely. We've been showing some of those images, and it's incredible. Um, and, and just the programs there at South Carolina Children's Theater. I mean, kids are going to watch this, and then they're going to say, wait a minute. I could also be one of those people. Talk about exactly. that. Exactly. They could be a part of it. We also have all open auditions to anyone of any age. We try to cast our shows age appropriately. So if there's a role for a kid, it will be played by a kid. Yeah. And also our classes help prepare them for that. It prepares them for auditions. It prepares them to make choices on the fly on stage if something goes wrong, which is what happens in theater. Very good. And then and I guess that goes alongside what, what do you hope that, that a kid takes away from this experience? They watch a show. Oh, they're going to be all fired up and excited. Are there lessons they're learning from the actual uh, books or just maybe the experience being in the theater? I think that it, hmm, that's a great question. I think their biggest takeaway needs to be that magic can happen right here in yeah. South Carolina, that we can do anything creative right here and you don't have to leave Greenville in order to uh, follow your dreams and become an actor or do something that is imaginary and creative. And I can always tell, you know, how passionate you are about this. How long have you been acting and, and what, what brought you into that? I've been acting for a long time now, but I recently graduated from Furman University. And so that is how I started working at the Children's Theater. And I got my major in uh, theater there. And that's what prepared me to do this now. Very good. Well, anything else you want people to keep in mind? That, that show's coming up Friday, and there's yes, plenty of opportunities to see it. Yes, we open on March 3rd, yeah. and we're going until March 12th. And come to South Carolina Children's Theater if you want to see The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Wow. I promise you won't regret it. Great show. Looking forward to it. We'll put that information on screen now. The Very Hungry Caterpillar show opens this Friday at South Carolina Children's Theater. Performances through Sunday, March 12th. So lots of opportunities to see it. Tickets are $20 available on the SC Children's Theater website. We'll link that to ours on accesscarolina.com. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it, Anna. Thank you.